report a Wireshark bug, or submit an enhancement, and that would be an enhancement request. In this section, I'm also going to show you how you can search through Wireshark's bug tracker. Wireshark uses Bugzilla at this time. To get to the bug tracker, from the main Wireshark page, simply select Get Help, and then choose Bug Tracker at the bottom. This is the main Wireshark bug database. You don't need to have an account to search the database, but if you're going to file a bug, you do need to create a new account, and then you'll need to log in with that account. If you already have an account, you're ready to go to file a bug, you'll be prompted to log in the minute you select File a Bug. Submitting a bug and submitting an enhancement request use the same basic functions. I'll go through the basic process to file a bug, but I'll show you where I could also file an enhancement. So I'm going to click on File a Bug, and I'm being prompted for my login at this point. And now I've logged in and I'm ready to choose the website or Wireshark. Well, let's say I'm submitting a bug regarding Wireshark. I'll choose Wireshark. And now I need to define which component I've located the bug in. So I'll choose Wireshark. And then I have to define the version. So let's say I'm going to say there's a problem with 1.11.x, which is now just changed over to the number 1.99. I'm going to define the hardware and the OS version. And notice that there's a, an item here that says, we've made a guess at your operating system and platform. Please check them to make sure they're correct. They are not correct. So I'm on 64-bit platform, and I'm on Windows 8.1. Now I'll have to put in a short summary. And let's say I'm complaining about a problem with the I.O. graph. I.O. graph crash um, using tcp.analysis.flags, let's say. And this is not a bug. But notice that as you type this in, the bug tracker is going to try to give me information about any related bugs or any duplicates in case someone else has already reported this. This is a great feature. If you find that someone else has reported this, you can add yourself to the CC list so you can be copied on any information regarding that bug. If you want to find out more information about a bug, you can simply click on the bug number. So let's say down here, uh, let's say this 8793 bug, I'm going to click on it. And this provides me with information about that bug. So we can see fix flow graph. Oh, look at that. Nice. It's been resolved, we can see. And if you scroll down further, you'll see the notes about the bug. I'll go back now to reporting my bug. And it didn't retain that information that I put in a moment ago. So I'm going to have to do this again. So keep that in mind when you're working inside of Bugzilla. I'll select 1.11.x, and again, it's 64-bit operating system, and I'm on Windows 8.1. I'll type in my value, iograph crashes with tcp.analysis.flags, and again, this is just a fake one. And if I don't see it on this list, then I'm ready to go ahead and submit the bug information. The first thing that we need to do is we need to submit the build information. So let's go over to Wireshark and grab that. This is Wireshark version 1.11. So we go up under Help and About Wireshark, and here we can see the version information. And this is all the information that we want to copy and paste into the bug page. So I'll select all of it and Control C to copy it, and then I'll go back over to Bugzilla. And then I'll paste I'll provide a quick description of it. This is where my description would go. And if you have a trace file that's pretty short, maybe, maybe I can recreate this bug with a trace file that just has five packets in it. That would be ideal because perhaps I can add that trace file as an attachment. And when you're finished with that, you can submit your bug. Now what about if I have an enhancement request? 
If we go back up to the top, we can see that we have the product is selected as Wireshark and the component is Wireshark. And in the version area, we can see the old versions and uh, probably won't do you a lot of good to uh, define the version of way back here. Nobody's going to pay attention to it. And then the severity area, I should have mentioned this before, you define what the severity is and don't be, you know, putting things up as critical and major uh, unless it really is, unless Wireshark consistently crashes with a basic function. Try to stay with, you know, normal. But if you have an enhancement, this is where you select enhancement off of the severity list. You still provide your hardware and the OS information, but this is where you put in something that you'd like. So IO graph axis with numbers, with commas, let's say, commas and numbers. And we can see all the other bugs that are related to this. And for an enhancement, you could still put in your build information because perhaps this is something that is available, but for some reason it's not showing up in your version. And then provide the description of what you'd like to see happening. If you could even mock it up, you can add an attachment of your desired feature of what you'd like to see it doing. And then you still click the submit bug when you are submitting an enhancement. Let's go back to the main page and let me show you a few options for searching through the Wireshark bug database. There's a quick search, a simple search, and a not so simple search. So there are three different types of searches. This one is called a quick search. And I'm just going to type in IOGraph and click quick search. Wireshark brings up the list in order of relevance. Notice in the bottom left hand corner, it tells us that 16 bugs are found that all have IO or graph in them. The status column defines whether this bug has been confirmed, as we can see in this one, or it is still unconfirmed. Be careful when you put in your search values for the quick search. Don't do IO graphs with an S at the end. If we do a quick search on that, you'll notice only eight bugs have been found because the other bugs do not have an S at the end of the word graph. So try to stay as generic as you possibly can. Let's go back to the main page. And now we have an option here, a magnifying glass. And when you click on the magnifying glass, you have two different search options, the simple search and the not so simple search. In the simple search area, you can define the status of the bug that you're looking for, open, closed, or all. I'm going to say all. And then the product you're interested in. And there are only two products you can work with in Bugzilla here. It's either the Wireshark websites or Wireshark itself. So I'm going to say Wireshark. And then I'll put in IO graph and do a search. Now we will see a lot more bugs because we've said we're also interested in looking at the bugs that have been resolved. Before we were looking at open bugs only and now we're looking at ones that are open as well as the ones that have been fixed. In the status area we can see RESO it stands for resolved and FIXE fixed. DUPL indicates that this is a duplicate that's been filed. So watch out and try not to try not to duplicate the bugs in the system. Now if we look through this list, because we're looking for fixed bugs as well as the open bugs, we have 177 bugs that have been found dealing with IO graph, the search terms IO graph. I'll go back up to the top and let's go back to the main page and now I'm going to click search and I'm going to go over to not so simple search. When we go into not so simple search, now we can define much more granularly what we're interested in. So we're interested in IO graph on the Wireshark product and in component we're looking at Wireshark and we're looking for let's say any bug fixes that might be in progress that might show up as in progress. 
And then for resolution, we can just leave this selected at the top. Fixed, not a bug, not our bug, later, remind, duplicate, work, works for me, <laughs> or moved. If we scroll down, you can see that you have options to put in detailed bug information or to search for specific people, to search by change history, or do a custom search. I'm just going to click search to see if we have any that are in progress. Whenever you do a search and it comes up empty, you will see a Dr. Seuss little rhyme and then you will see a Bugzilla rhyme as well. So Dr. Seuss from there to here, from here to there, funny things are everywhere. And then Bugzilla, accept your bug, it's not here, it's not there, oh dear, oh dear. It's well worth getting an account on the Bugzilla page if you're going to be submitting bugs. But if you don't plan on submitting bugs, don't worry. You don't need an account just to search Bugzilla.